So how did we get a whooping 16,000 pounds for free <laughs> in the UK? Hello, hello everyone. My name is The Slay Dog. Welcome back to my channel. You guys probably know me from TikTok, Instagram or Facebook. So if you are new to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and also click on the notifications button. That's the button that will notify you if I make new videos so that you'll be the first to see them. Yeah. So this video is about how we got free £16,000 in the UK. A whooping free £16,000. Hmm. <laughs> in this country, first of all, you know that you don't get free money. <laughs> you get free health, you get free education. Well, for some immigrants, health is not free. I think it was about 2020 or so that they said people like myself, doctors, nurses, care workers should, you know, not you know, be paying health such as since they are taking care of the population, the general population. And, uh, you know, it was like an incentive to them because to us, I mean, because it was during COVID time and, you know, people put out the, the petition to the government and all of that. So, yeah, but let's not digress. The video is about how we got a free £16,000 incentive. So how did we get this? So we got it by buying, you know, a house. In the united kingdom so it was our first property in the uk it was part of the incentives that they gave us they gave us more incentives actually but this was the very first incentive that attracted us so it was just a random morning that we were driving you know somewhere in um, yorkshire and then we saw this beautiful beautiful you know estate and we we're like oh my gosh this is so beautiful before then we had been living in the uk for some years so we had rented rented and rented you know what i mean <laughs> So, and before then, I've been monitoring the property market for a while. So, I've been looking up two bed houses, three bed houses. But what I wanted was a four bed house. Okay. So, we're driving through this beautiful estate and we're like, well, let's just give them a call, you know, and see what it's like to get a house. Um, so, we were going to get an old house before then. But one of my friends contacted me to say, you can try a new house. We got, they got a new house. And then they were like, oh, it's actually cool. It's very beautiful. The estate is nice and blah, blah, blah. So by the time we wanted to get in that particular estate, the estate was already full, like everyone had gotten a house in that estate and there was no space left and stuff, so we had to move elsewhere. So yeah, 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 yeah. Before we continue, let me just reintroduce myself. My name is Tinika, I'm a medical doctor in the UK. I live here with my family. So yeah. <laughs> so as I was saying, we were just driving around this um, beautiful, beautiful estate and then we decided to walk in and then ask you know the um property managers you know we asked them how far with these houses how much are they and before then we had gone around looking at new build houses from different developers but it was just difficult finding the perfect house that ticked all the boxes that we had so let me tell you what the boxes were <laughs> so i wanted a four bed house with a garage and a driveway that was what i wanted of course, a lot of new builds come with um, a an average sized garden. I don't want to say it's big. It's big. It's quite big. And I'm going to be showing the garden at the end of this this video. So it's quite big. I mean, compared to the the house, the the gardens that we had when we were renting. So yeah, it's quite big. And um, yeah, but I would still call it an average sized garden because there are bigger gardens. <laughs> so that that was my spec and i wanted the sitting room the lounge to be a little bit on the big side and i wanted a huge kitchen that's what i wanted i didn't care if i didn't have a utility room i still wanted a utility room regardless i wanted a huge kitchen so those were the things that i wanted however hobby my husband he just wanted a big house whether it, it had a garden or a garage or a driveway he didn't care I also wanted a patio, like a front lawn. So those were my own quirky, quirky things that I wanted. So yeah, but um, eventually I won because then he was going to go for a very big house with three floors um, that had you know double rooms everywhere, four double rooms everywhere, but did not have the garden, the driveway, the garage, and all those things. But I wanted, even if it was a small house, still a four bedroom house, but ticked all my boxes. <laughs> yes. I'm a kitchen lover. I like to be in the kitchen. Whether I, it's because I'm cooking and you know I'm microwaving food, I'm frying stuff, or I'm doing my laundry, or just chilling or watching TV, I love to be in the kitchen. Well, my husband loves to be in the lounge, so he wanted a big lounge. 
that's what we wanted so eventually we got this house from this estate developers and they were like well this house costs they you know said they didn't give us like a range of properties to look at and they told us this comes with an incentive this does not come with an incentive so the big house the, the one with the three floors that my husband preferred that one did not have any significant incentives on it there was some money there was some monetary incentive but it didn't come with any other incentive like we had to you know pay for the kitchen we had to pay for everything you know with the flooring and we felt oh it's going to be expensive to to floor a whole new build house that is as big as this with three floors because the house was really really was super super big <laughs> i think it was about the biggest house i've seen i mean as a new build you know from all the property developers that we went to all the um estates that we visited so we're like this is really it's too big and it's going to be really really costly to do the flooring so let's just go for a two floor house after all it takes all the other boxes yes so they then said there is a sixteen thousand pound incentive towards this four bed house with the driveway the garage the garden i was like oh my god this is it this is what i always wanted so they had to remove sixteen thousand pounds from the cost of the house and then give it to us my darling when i saw that i was like yes yes <laughs> this is it so yeah so we didn't have to pay you know i mean eventually we won't because it's a mortgage so eventually we won't have to pay for the full cost of the house Sixteen thousand pounds was deducted and um, you know that's money that's I lost it out. I'm doing a video. I'll be with you in four minutes. <laughs> My husband. Anyway, so yeah, so we we did not have to, and we would not eventually have to pay the whole pay for the whole of the the full price of the house because of the sixteen thousand pounds. And you know, from people that are here to get on the property ladder, you know, I just have this piece of advice. Just one if you if you once you find once you've saved up enough, you've gone around looking at new build houses, you, you have your spec, you have the boxes you want to take, just approach you know property developers and ask them for incentives. They may have incentives, but they may not tell you. Okay, so aside that we got a very beautiful kitchen, which I'm going to you know, I'm going to assign the video. So there is something I just want to say before I conclude this video. So when you're looking for a new build property, do just know that new build properties come at a premium price that is you have to pay a lot for them and don't expect anything to be in the house they may not have done the flooring you may have to talk to your garden in fact <laughs> you may have to buy some gadgets in your kitchen you may even have to do like a whole make like a whole new kitchen like demolish that kitchen because you might not like it and you know do your kitchen to your taste so always have always save extra cash for that for those emergencies i mean a lot of cash even or make sure that your credit score is really really good because flooring does not come cheap except you want a work flooring for your new build which you would not really want also you might need new furniture you know paintings you may want to decorate the place it's always you know there's always <laughs> one thing or the other to buy so be realistic you know also make sure you ask the property developers that do they have any incentives because <laughs> you can even coax, not coax, please, coax, like cajole them or like plead with them to say, oh, so what have you, what extra things have you got for us? Or how can you convince us to get this property? Because we've gone to other um, estate developers and we've we've seen what they've got in stock for us and they, they give us really nice offers. You can say something like that. Otherwise, you know, you just shoot yourself in the leg, like. In our case now, we got this big, beautiful kitchen, which came at no extra cost at all. At all. It came with integrated appliances. Everything was there. I mean, no extra cost at all. And you know the price, so if you want a kitchen to your standard in the UK, you're talking about anything between £7,000 to like 12 k 14 k I mean, if you want a standard kitchen that's going to have all the appliances, and, you know, we'll have the flooring, we'll have the cabinets, what a big kitchen. Something that would make sense. Something that people will come in and say, wow, your kitchen looks really nice. And like I said before, I'm someone that loves big kitchens. I love to chill in the kitchen. Right now, I'm in my kitchen. I'm in one aspect of my kitchen. So, this is basically the entrance of, of my kitchen. I'm going to attach a video of my kitchen at the end of this. So, yes, my house tour is in another video. So, there are two separate videos. I've done a video on the steps you can take when you're about to buy a house 
from the buying to the day they give you your keys i've done another video on the house tour so please check out my videos So guys, that was my kitchen. It's still my kitchen. I'm standing inside it right now and I'm very proud of it as, you know, my first property that I got in the UK. So guys, if you love this content, subscribe. Click the subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Don't forget to tell me in the comment section what part of this video you liked the most, what videos you would like me to show going forward. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.